And just looking ahead to, to the new season in League Two, um, how do you feel your pre-season has gone in, in general? You know? <coughs> we're making progress. You know, like I said, Nigel just said, you're a much better team than you were last year, and you, you can see it starting to develop. You could see that on Tuesday night against a team that's vying to go back to the Championship. You could see that today in patches, but not not as consistent. So we, we, we've sort of strung two half decent performances together, or more than half decent to be fair. Two, two, two good performances together against two tough teams. And we've got to make sure that lasts for 50 games starting next week. Um, that's the challenge. And if we do that, then we've got a great chance of having a successful season, whatever success looks like to, to each person. And what are you looking for this season that you perhaps necessarily didn't last season? Much more consistency. Much more. We didn't win back to back games. There you go. It's as simple as that. You know, I think the way we want to play will help that. Last year we survived. And what I mean by survived, I don't just mean league position, table, or anything like that. We just, in the end, we just become really hard to beat and hoped we scored goals. That's the truth. Well, we can't do that. You, you, you don't make progress. You know, whacking it anywhere. You know, like I said, Jordan's probably hit more goal kicks over the halfway line today than he's played short, but there's a purpose to it. He hit one out of his hands to Jason, who come around the front. We need to score a goal from it. You know, Greeny combines, and suddenly we're in. Um, so there's thought to it, as opposed to just whacking it up to Rosie because he can head a ball. Well, we all know Danny Rosie's excellent in the air. Well, let's, you know, get up there and cross some balls for him, as opposed to just you know, whack it from a from a goal kick kind of thing. So, although that is an option, you know, so we've got to make sure that all that comes to to fruition, really. And how do you see League Two overall this season? Certainly compared to last season, we've got we've lost strong teams, but we've also, you know, some t strong teams have come into yeah. the division. Yeah, the truth is, it's not as strong as last year, but not by much, only marginally. You know, you lose Mansfield, Stockport, and Wrexham. And we play some with Port Vale, who are paying six and a half grand a week for players, and Chesterfield, who were the favourites to go up because they're spending the fortune. Well, you know, you're not far off. You're not far off, you know. Obviously, Forest Green going down helped because they spent a fortune last year. Um, but the, you, you've got the other teams that are coming down from League One, you know, you've got Carlisle and the new ownership. Um, so, so but it's, it's a strong league. They're all strong league, you know. That, that, that's. You won't want it any other way, really. So it'll be competitive. It'll be good, and you know, we're, we're we're up for the fight. And how tough is it at the minute? Because you've got enough to concentrate on with your own side and your own team. Where you're looking at all the what the other clubs are doing business-wise. Yeah, look, the, the, we've got two two programs running concurrently. If you like the pre-season program and the transfer window program, the recruitment drive. <coughs> One finishes this week. The other one finishes in three weeks' time. So, you know, we've got to get as many good players into the football club as we can, as quickly as we can, because we want them in. We, we wanted them in six weeks ago, but um, that doesn't happen. It just doesn't. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep working hard to get players into the football club to improve the team, to improve the, the football club, um, you know, in the, in the hope that it wins us games of football. We've got over 5,000 season ticket holders here at Blundell Park this season. Yeah. That's that's a, another huge boost for, for the club, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. You know, we've got a great opportunity of turning this place into an absolute fortress. I said it last year and it sort of did towards the end. You know, we went six games unbeaten at one point and we had some, you know, then you know, Rex and Rollins down the Stockport and turn us over. And, but then we beat Forest Green, we beat MK Dons, you know, beat Newport, we beat Swindon. You know, we, we were winning games at home. We didn't win games away, so we've got to make sure that our form here is replicated from last season towards the end of last season here, and then we've got to make sure we take that on the road. And if we do that, then we'll have it. We'll, we'll be more than okay. How excited are you, David, personally? Well, first first day of the new season is Christmas to me. It always has been. You know, the the the, the build up, the hype, the optimism. You know, I'm I'm a bit older than seven, so. Um, you know, it's, I feel like a seven-year-old next Friday. I'll be in the hotel with all the staff and the players, and I'll probably be like a bit of a giddy kipper um, because next day is Christmas. 
and that first day, I think we, we, it, we have to define it. It's, it doesn't define the season, does it? You, you have to drill no. home. But everyone no. wants to win. Of course. You get three points for the first game. It's, the, all the players want to play in the first game. It, you know, it, everyone thinks it means more. It, it doesn't. It's three points. Um, you know, like I said, I've, I've, teams have won 6 0 and lost 6 0 and not got promoted or relegated. And next Saturday will be no different. So I'll go there full of confidence against a team that, you know, we've got a really tough start. You know, we play, I think, two or three teams that got relegated. The title favourites in Chesterfield, Bucky's favourites. We've got Gillingham who have spent an absolute fortune. We've got Bradford um, twice. I don't think this football club's beaten for 15 years or something. So we know we're, we, we've got a real tough start, but it's one that we'll relish. And finally, what's your message to the to the fans? I think the message is, look, we, we've, we're improving. We're certainly not finished. And we're going to have a right good goal. And we've got to make you proud. Get behind us, home and away, which I know they will. Um, they've been fantastic. Support the players. Give all the players every, all, all the energy you can and get us over the line in them tight games because there's always it's, it's, it's the games that you win 1-0 and the games that you win 2-1 that, that make the difference there's, there's 25 of them every year and they're the ones where we need you and you know hopefully we, we can we can do the business fantastic wish you all the best thank Cheers, you David. thank you